All right, we're rocking and rolling. Great to see everybody today. Um, I got my daughter with me, Amelia, and she's going to join in. And uh, so, whether you're a high level college player, professional player, um, high school player, or just starting out, you can start to incorporate all of these change of speed, change of direction. Um, be believable with your eyes. Um, there's no one there, I was just waving. Uh, and that's how you have to be when you're playing this game so that you have confidence and demand the <coughs> confidence of your teammates and the respect of your uh, opponents. All right, we're going to start out with our normal uh, ball handling series, and then we're going to uh, work our way into um, uh, into um, some of our circuits today. All right, All right let's get started. Start with cone touching. Okay, so we're just going to go side to side, straighten one leg, bend the other, touch the cone. Now, if you don't have a cone, you can use a water bottle. Uh, you can use a rock, anything that can stay there and not move. Okay, so you're going to touch. Okay, touch. Okay, touch. Start out nice and slow. Touch. Good. Touch. Make sure you're looking in both directions. Pausing, a little hesitation, stand up tall, touch, stand up tall, touch, stand up tall, touch, good, very nice. Okay, now we're going to pick up the water bottle or the cone, okay, and then switch hands. Pick it up, switch. Posture is good. Don't hunch over. Make sure you're sitting nicely and in an athletic stance when you're doing this drill and bring your chest down first. Okay? Alright, great job. Okay, now we're going to stand up tall and do high crossovers. Good. Nice and tall. Good. Looking side to side. Pick up the speed a little bit. Good. Snap your wrist down each time. Good. A little bit wider. to our Kevin Johnson move. So you're going to cross over and step opposite. And then go to the other cone, step over to the opposite side and cross back to the middle. Okay? Step and cross. Step and cross. Now if you drop the cone, keep the dribble alive. Okay? Step and cross. Step and cross. Step and cross. Step and cross. Step opposite. Cross back the other way. Cross and lean the other way. Cross. 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 Ten more. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Great job. 
job. So what we're working on is changing speeds and changing directions. Okay. What's up, Miss Terry? All right. Good to see everybody. Say hi, Amelia. Hello. <laughs> Now this time we're going to go through the leg. Okay, we're going to go back and forth. Now remember, when you go through your legs, going through your legs is just like a crossover. Crossover, 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 crossover. It's the same thing, okay? So now we're going to build off of what we previously did. Okay, so we're going to do crossover, one, two, three, four, 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 okay? And then you work your way into a, a faster speed, making sure you're engaging your abs when you're doing this and having good posture the whole time. Okay? We're going to go the other way. One, two, three, four. One. Notice how I'm leaning each way as if I'm actually going to go that way. One, two, three, four. 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 Great job. Okay, now we're going to work that hesitation in. And after the crossovers, we're going to pause before we go to the other side. Okay? So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, pause. 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 One, two, three, four. Great job got to incorporate hesitations into your workouts otherwise you're not going to really have a great understanding of spacing between yourself and the defender one two three four pause 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 stand up one two three four pause 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 one two three four Great job. Okay, now we're going to go through our legs at each cone just like we did before. Okay? But when you go through the cone, you're going to step opposite. So you're going to dribble back to the middle, step opposite. You're going to dribble to the cone and step opposite. Dribble to the cone and step opposite. Dribble to the cone, step opposite. To the cone, step up. Go 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 to the cone, step up. Five, four, three, two, one. Now notice when I'm doing these drills, I'm looking opposite too. So when I'm going through my legs, I'm crossing that foot over, and I'm stepping opposite of where the ball is, but I'm also looking opposite, trying to use maximum deception for our defender. Okay, now we're going to go behind our backs. Okay, stand up nice and tall. Okay, good. Nice and relaxed. Now, if you want to do it a little bit uh, more advanced, 
touch the cone, touch the cone, okay? Touch the cone, dribble, touch the cone, dribble, touch the cone, dribble, touch the cone, good, good, touch the cone, touch the cone, good, be nice and low, touch, 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 good, okay, if you lose the ball, just come back if you want to go without a dribble in between, and touch, touch, one, two, touch, one, two, touch, one, two, touch, one, two, touch, hesitate. Machine gun behind the back. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing again. We'll go with that one. You're going to go behind your back and step opposite. Step opposite. Behind the back, 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 step opposite. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. job. Okay, get a quick drink if you need it. What's up, G? Not a baby. Great to see everybody. Okay, this time we're going to do one of each. Now we notice we haven't taken a shot yet. You can't handle the ball. You don't understand spacing. You ain't got no business shooting right now anyway. Okay, so we're going to do a crossover through the legs behind. Pick it up. Switch. Pick it up. Switch. Crossover through the legs behind. Pick it up. Switch. Pick it up. Switch. Crossover through the legs behind. Pick it up. Switch. Pick it up. Switch. Crossover through the legs behind. Pick it up. Switch. Pick it up. Switch. Crossover through the legs behind. Pick it up. Switch. Pick it up. Switch. Crossover two legs behind. Pick it up, switch. Pick it up, switch. Crossover two legs behind. Pick it up, switch. Pick it up, switch. Crossover two legs behind. Pick it up, switch. Pick it up, switch. Crossover two legs behind. Pick it up, switch. Pick it up, switch. Crossover two legs behind. Pick it up, switch. Pick it up, switch. Crossover two legs behind. Pick it up, switch. Pick it up, switch. Crossover two legs behind. Three more. Pick it up, switch. Pick it up, switch. Two legs cross behind. Pick it up, switch. Pick it up, switch. Crossover. Keep it going. I had two more to go. Cross over two legs behind. Pick it up, switch. Pick it up, switch. Cross over two legs behind. Pick it up, switch. Pick it up, switch. And slam. Okay, great job. Okay, now this time, we're going to go side to side. We're going to do one of each. And after the last one, you're going to go back the other way. Okay, keep it down there. Okay, so we're going to do one of each. So if I'm dribbling to the right or left to you, I want to go cross over two legs behind and step opposite. Cross over two legs behind, step opposite. Cross over two legs behind, step opposite. Cross, boom, boom, step opposite. Boom, 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 step opposite. Boom, 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 step opposite. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 step opposite. Five more. Boom, 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 step opposite. Boom, 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 step opposite. Boom, 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 step opposite. Three more. Boom, 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 step opposite. 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 All right, great job. Way to work today. What's up, Danny?
seventh decade. Seventh decade, not sixth. 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s, 10s, 20s. Get it right. All right, don't take more than 30 to 60 seconds between breaks. Okay, now, got a good sweat going. Got your heart rate up. Okay, now we're going to incorporate the ball. Work on our hand speed. Okay, now in the beginning, if you weren't worth it with us uh, last Tuesday, okay, we're going to work on a cross-cross. The key to this drill is to watch the tennis ball the whole time. Don't watch the basketball. Okay, so we're going to be dribbling. We're going to toss the ball and release it right by our forehead. Let it bounce oh. and catch it while we're dribbling. Okay. okay, no moves. Just here, toss, look at the ball, and yeah. catch. Toss, watch the ball, and catch it. Now speed up the dribble. Toss. Now if you lose the ball like that, that means that you didn't have very good footwork and you didn't have very good spatials and that's part of what we're working on. Get your feet out of the way. React quickly. Toss the ball in a good spot. Okay, here we go. Toss the ball. Watch the ball. Grab it. 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 Now you're going to catch it in the air. Okay, here we go. Toss the ball, catch it. Toss the ball, catch it. Make sure it's going right back in the same spot that you tossed it. Toss it and catch it. And toss it and catch it. And toss it, bad toss. And toss it. Now notice you're not even thinking about the basketball anymore. You're thinking about the tennis ball. And that's how you want to play basketball. You just want to be on autopilot. You shouldn't even be thinking about dribbling the ball. It should just be automatic. Okay, switch sides. Okay, here we go. Okay, watch the tennis ball the whole time. Watch tennis ball, get out of the way and catch it. Toss it and catch it. Nice and relaxed. Look at my hand. Nice and relaxed. Good, let it bounce. Good, let it bounce. Good, take a step and go get it. Good, very nice. Okay, let's speed it up a little bit. Toss. And get it. And toss and get it. Toss and get it. Keep the dribble alive. Two more. And get it. Toss and get it. Great job. Okay, now this time we're going to catch it in the air. All right, here we go. Okay, get a good rhythm. Look at my stance. I got a good stance going. My back's arched. Okay, toss the ball and catch. 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 Toss the ball. Look around. Toss the ball. Even if there's distractions, toss the ball and catch. Okay. Great job. Okay. Now we're going to incorporate a cross cross into our move. Okay. Now we're going to let the ball bounce again. Okay, so you're going to do a cross-cross, toss the ball, it's going to bounce, and then while it's in the air, you're going to do a double cross with the ball. So now what you're doing is working on multitasking and not thinking about all the things going on in a game, coach yelling, crowd yelling, shot clock, game clock, teammates asking what's going on. You're supposed to enter the ball to the right, but the defender's forcing you left. There's a lot of things going on in a split second. Being relaxed. Looking at the ref to see if there's a five second call on the men's side. There's a lot of things going on. Okay, we've got the ball in our left hand. It may look like right hand to you, but I'm starting in my left hand. Okay, so I'm going to toss, cross, cross, let it bounce and pick it up. Good, nice job, Gina. Okay, toss, cross, cross. Watch the ball the whole time. Okay, toss, cross, cross. Boom. Okay. Toss. Cross. Cross. Boom. Okay. And if you lose your focus, come right back. And I like to have a cone near me on purpose so 
so that I'm more aware of my spatials. Okay? Okay, here we go. Good. Toss, cross, cross. And I got the sun in my eyes too now on purpose. So it's another distraction, no excuses. Okay, here we go. Toss, cross, cross, catch. Toss, cross, cross, catch. Toss, cross, cross, catch. Toss, cross, cross. Watch the tennis ball the whole time. Toss, cross, cross, catch. Okay, great job. Other side. Okay, here we go. Toss, cross, cross, catch. Now notice I watched the tennis ball the whole time. Don't watch the basketball. Toss, cross, cross, catch. Good. Toss, cross, cross, catch. Toss, cross, cross, catch. Toss, cross, cross, catch. Toss, cross, cross, catch. Great job. Okay, now this time, good job, Junior. Okay, now this time we're going to catch the ball in the air. So it's a little bit trickier. But you see how we're building. We're going to start with the ball in the left hand. Don't toss it too high, but toss it high enough to give yourself time to do a double cross. Okay? You have to watch the tennis ball. You got to watch the tennis ball the whole time. Okay, here we go. Watching the tennis ball the whole time. One, two, catch. Good. Cross, cross, catch. Keep the dribble alive. Good. Cross, cross, catch. Good. Keep the dribble alive. Cross, cross, catch. Good. Cross, cross, catch. Very nice. Okay, that was five in a row right there. Okay, switch sides. Okay, you want to switch sides rather quickly because the brain doesn't do a good job of going one side then the other. And this is good practice for muscle memory. Okay, here we go. Watch the ball the whole time. Cross, cross. Okay, good. Keep it going. Have a quick reaction. Cross, cross. One. Good. Cross, cross. Two. Good. Cross, cross. Three. Good. Cross, cross. Four. Good. Cross, cross. One more because I lost the ball now. Okay, here we go. Cross, cross. Nope. There we go. Cross, cross. Six. All right, great job. Get a quick drink. Now, next time, we're going to add other components to that tennis ball drill where we uh, go through our legs or back and forth because it really helps you to handle stressful situations and simulating a game as best you can when you don't really have defenders, especially at this point in time uh, during this situation that we got going on. Now you notice we haven't even taken a shot yet. Okay, so we're gonna start to incorporate some things. Okay. Okay, we've got the cones out here. We're gonna use the cones for our moves. And no, we're done with tennis ball for today. Okay, you can just set the tennis ball over here on the side. Okay, now we're gonna work on different moves. As you know, if you're here for the first time, I like to do moves on the perimeter and then a different move around the basket. And you have to do these thousands of times, otherwise they, be, they don't become automatic. Okay, they don't just come to you naturally in a game if you haven't done these hundreds of thousands of times. Okay, so we're gonna start off first we're warmed up now. Okay, we're gonna do a uh, rondo number one, which if you haven't done that before, okay, you're coming in for a layup, take two steps, show the ball to the basket. Okay, show the ball to the basket. Shot fake, turn to the outside, step to the middle, and then step through with an up and under for a layup. Okay, now we're gonna do one of each at each of these cones. Okay, we're gonna do one of each at each of these cones. And then we're going to work on our acceleration so that we get to the basket and convince that escalator. And we convince the defender that we're actually going in for a layup, and then we're going to stop on a dime. And your braking system, which is your feet, you really got to work on stopping on a dime, otherwise ref's going to call travel. Okay, so we're going to work on one of each, just like we did earlier. We're going to go crossover, through the legs behind, step opposite at each of the three cones, and then we're going to go in for a rondo. Now we're going to go consecutively for four shots, make or miss. 
We're working on conditioning, change of speeds, change of direction. Okay, you can follow. Okay, I'm going to switch to the left side. Good job, Beaner. Okay, a little shallow, but not bad. Okay, here you go. Cross over to the right behind, step on it. Cross over to the right behind, step on it. Cross over to the right behind, step on it. Great job. Go to the other side, nice and quick, speed dribble. Start over. Great job. Okay, other way. Start over. Keep it going. Good. Keep your head up. Keep your head up. Good. Next one. Yeah. Beautiful. Good. Why am I behind quickly? Get to that basket. Good. Good. Beautiful. Great job. Great job. Work on change of speed, change of direction, and work on your braking system. Okay, now this time we're going to do two of each. Two crossovers, two through the legs, and two behind behinds. And then we're going to go in for a euro. Okay, here we go. All right, here we go. Ready? Cross, cross, short and short, behind, behind. Two on each side, or you can go longer if you want. Good job, Junior. Good Euro. Make sure you go side side on your Euro, not side mi middle, because you'll run the defender over. work. Keep working. What's up, Howard? Got a little hoot out here. A little hoot. Great job. You only take about 30 to 60 seconds between breaks. Okay, now the next move we're going to work on is the Steve Smith, but we're going to set it up with an in and out behind. And when you go in and out behind with a slam, you sell the in and out, which is a fake crossover, slam it behind and turn. 
Because if you just slam it behind, that defender might pick your pocket. Okay, so you got to go in and out, behind, turn slightly, and that sets you up perfectly for the Steve Smith. Okay, and then we're going to go in for a spin move around the basket. All right, so it'll look a little something like this. Okay, so we're going to go now on the in and out. Make sure you step hard, look hard, lean hard. Okay, in and out. It's not so much the hand. This is a carry. Okay. The foot and the shoulder and the eyes are more important. Okay? Very little hand movement. It's more about the shoulder, the step, and the eyes. Okay, so we're going to go in and out behind. In and out behind and turn. Notice how I turn slightly. In and out behind and turn. And then that sets me up for the Steve Smith, which is a fake spin. A fake spin. Okay, so now I'm going to go in and out behind three times on each cone, okay? Followed by a Steve Smith, and then we're going to go in for a spin move, spin counter move for the layup. Okay, here we go. In and out behind, Steve Smith. In and out behind, Steve Smith. that one over again. Okay, here we go. You got to be able to do everything clean. You got to have your head up, change speed, change your direction, work on your braking system. Okay, now we're going to incorporate my meal ticket, my bread and butter, okay, the Kevin Johnson, okay. And it's important that you learn this move. And we set it up earlier when we went crossover, step opposite, through the legs, step opposite. Behind the back, step opposite, because that's basically what this move is. And so if you can master this move with your eyes and your body language, the defender's going to bite hard. Not just hard, but hard. They're going to bite hard on this move, hard, hard. Okay? All right, here we go. All right, so basically, for those of you that weren't here the last couple weeks, when you do a normal crossover, your leg goes with the ball. See how my leg went in the same direction as the ball. So when you go through your legs and accelerate, your foot is in the same direction. With the KJ, you cross the leg over. So see how my leg is opposite of the ball right now. Okay? So that's the first step. 
Okay, so you cross over as if you're attacking the defender's hip. Okay, stand right here for a minute, Amelia. Play defense on me. Okay, so I'm going to attack this hip. Just stand straight, don't move. Okay, so watch my foot. I'm going to cross as if I'm going to go this way and attack that hip. But really, I'm going that way. Okay, now stay there. So now, after I cross my foot over, I'm going to sidestep with the other foot. Right? We talked about that earlier, stepping opposite, getting the defender to lean, and then crossing over and going by her. Okay? So again, this is what it looks like without a defender. Okay? So I cross my foot over. Now you got to get good at going through your legs, otherwise this slow part here, okay, you're going to hit your leg every time. Okay? So, hey Kylie. So you're going to attack the defender, but you're going to attack their opposite hip of, from where the ball is going. Okay? And you're going to cross over, sidestep and lunge, look, lean, lunge and then cross that same foot back over. Now with the defender here, you can only do this move when they're about one arm's length away. You can't do it when they're this close to you, and you can't do it when you're this far away. It's gotta be one step away, okay? Now again, you're gonna set it up by crossing your foot opposite of the ball, side step, and cross over, okay? So cross over the foot, Side step opposite and cross over. Now, if we're going the other way, just put it that way. Okay, so again, if I'm going to the other side, okay, I'm going to cross my foot over. Notice how I'm leaning all the way over here. Ball's over here. Side step and cross over. Okay, now if she does that where she tries to cut me off, okay, then I just cross her up. Okay, I just cross her. I just slap it back. I don't go with it. Okay? If she cuts me off over here, I just slap it across. Okay? So you have to slow that down and see how the footwork is with that. So the counter move is same thing. Cross the foot over, sidestep, but instead of crossing over, I act like I'm crossing over. She cuts me off, and then I just cross the ball over instead. All right? All right, so now we're going to do three KJs at each cone. Okay? And then we're going to go in for a Barkley number one. Now, pretend she's playing defense right there. And I'm going to go in for a layup. And she's going to reach for the ball okay, as I'm coming in. So you see how I did a windmill? Come up here a little higher. Stand right there and guard, pretend you're guarding the ball. So I'm coming in for a layup. And if I come in normally, she's going to steal it. If she reaches for the ball and I go over her hand while I'm taking my two steps, it's one of the most underutilized moves in basketball going to the basket. You think you got a layup, and all you have to do is windmill, reach, and go around her arm, and you got a, you got a layup. Now, the side Barkley is a little bit different. Stand right there. Okay, now this time I'm coming in for a layup. I act like I'm coming this way, she cuts me off, and I jump sideways. So there's no chance for a windmill here. This is a side Barkley. So I'm coming in straight, all of a sudden I put the brakes on, I jump with my inside foot, hop onto two feet, straight 90 degree jump, and lay it in with the inside hand. Okay, so that's what we're going to work on. Okay, both the side Barkley and the windmill Barkley. Now we're going to do a KJ and we're going to shoot eight straight shots. Okay? All right, here we go. Ready? If we miss it, do we keep, can we start over? Yep. You can just do a crossover and step opposite. Don't go through your legs and stepping opposite the car. Okay? Okay, KJ. Okay. Okay. Look somewhere else before you shoot. Good. Good. Very nice. See how she's stepping opposite? She's doing a great job. Yeah. Money. Great job.
Okay, so remember the cage area. Step opposite. Windmill. say live though. Yeah, it would say live right there. Take a picture of your hiding spot. <laughs> oh, the dog. Hmm. Okay, hold on one second. I'm gonna cut the phone off real quick. Don't touch that, honey. Don't touch it. That one. That one. We're gonna keep. second here we're gonna start back up on the Barkley side Barkley okay you can keep going honey okay just keep working on the side Barkley good good hop that was a really good hop though keep shooting you gotta make it We're shooting eight show, total shots, yeah. Uh, four? Okay. Good, keep your head up. Nice hop. Way to look opposite. Great job. Love it. Five. Great job. Go the other cones. It work both sides. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I don't really know what happened. All right. So yeah. again, we're going to go KJ. Do the legs, step opposite. Do the legs, step opposite. Do the legs, step opposite. Hop to the middle. And finish. Okay, keep it going. shoot make sure you look somewhere else before you shoot always find the grooves on the ball before you shoot
now those are some of our basic counter moves off the dribble. Okay, now we're going to work on moves from a triple or quadruple threat position. And we're going to start with the rip and go. Okay? Any questions? Shoot me a message. Okay? Now we're going to go right down the middle this time. Make sure when you rip and go, a lot of the way, honey. Okay, when you rip and go, make sure that same foot moves with the ball. Make sure you go below your knees and make sure you dribble outside of your foot. Otherwise, referee's going to call us the easiest travel call in the world. Okay? So now we're going to rip and go and we're going to go into a floater. Yeah. Now remember with the floater, you just take your two steps like you would for a layup, but just start at the free throw line. You gotta be able to rip and go both ways. Make sure you go nice and low. See how that foot's moving? Rip and go, and then just put it on the floor. Now, depending on what your level is, you gotta practice both hands, so you should try and shoot with your left hand. Find the grooves on the ball before you shoot. Finish with a mate. Good job. Make sure you finish with that shot. Middle finger touches the ball last. That's all right. So you gotta get your footwork out, otherwise you can hurt your knee. Go ahead, finish. So now we're going to work on the side jab. Okay, so I like to come up high first, try and get that defender to relax. Okay, and then when we bring the ball down, we still stand up. And whichever foot we're moving, the ball goes to the opposite hip. So if I'm stepping here and I'm looking around trying to make the defender think that I don't know what I'm doing or that I'm scared, and then I'm going to side jab. But notice I keep the ball on that opposite hip the whole time. I'm here, side jab, just like we did with the KJ. And you see the progressions on how we're working on these things. Okay, pass fake, pass fake, look over here, step over here, and cross over and go. That's a side jab, Derrick Rose plyo push. All right? Yeah, of course. Huh? What's up, BD? BD in the house, that's what I'm talking about, okay? So we're gonna step through, nice and tall. Ball's on the opposite hip of which foot is moving. Side jab, a crossover. We're gonna go full speed, stop on a dime at the elbow, drop the ball behind our back, and shoot the jump shot. Find the grooves before you shoot. Don't shoot knuckle balls. into those jump shots again. Great job. level player you should be swishing your shots you shouldn't just be satisfied with making shots okay so there's your side jab 
Okay, now we're going to work on the LeBron. So LeBron, he hasn't done it as much lately, but you step through, act like you're passing, lean over, look, be believable with your eyes and your shoulders. Okay, and then slowly come down like you're passing, go through your legs, and then go the other way. Okay, that's the LeBron. Okay, now I'm going to do a James Harden jump shot here. Okay, so I'm going to go through my legs behind the back, sidestep for this shot. Okay, here we go. goal should be to make five in a row from any spot that you're trying to shoot in a game. If you're not making five in a row, don't shoot it in a game. Okay, great job. through Good. Your head up. Very nice. That's all right. That's what you're working on, trying to make sure the ball doesn't slip. Okay, now we're going to go into the Steve Smith. So now, play defense on me real quick. There you go. Okay, so now I step through, and she's up on my shoulder. Okay, so now she's not in my way here, but she's not letting me turn back. So I'm going to fake spin and go around her. So a stationary Steve Smith. What I see happening too often is I step through, she takes away my shoulder, and then people do this. And they just, they got no options. So you got to have that stationary Steve Smith in the bag. She starts off me, and then when I step through, she comes up on me, okay? And then I Steve Smith and go around her. Okay? All right? Okay. Okay, so look at your ball. So we're going to work on a stationary Steve Smith, okay? And then we're going to do a uh, spin jump shot. A spin jump shot. Yeah, but you got to take one last dribble before you spin. That's right. Okay, so stationary Steve Smith into a spin jump shot. Step through. Okay, Steve Smith. You didn't fake the look, though. Right? Oh. You gotta pretend you're spinning. Wrong way. Watch. Left foot. 
foot, go over so they can see. Left foot, and then fake like you're gonna spin. Fake like you're gonna spin, watch me. Fake like you're gonna spin. Step through. There you go. That's better. Good. Very nice. Okay, other way. Right foot through. Wrong hand. You gotta have good balance, otherwise you can't do this move. Step through with the right. I check the ball. Step through with the right. Fake. Fake. Dribble with the left. Do we think twice or are they gonna nope. go? with your right foot. Oh. All the way over. Yep, and then fake spin. And then, yeah, left hand dribble though. That was good though. Very nice. I'm up on you. Step through with your right foot. No, step through with your right foot. Good. Fake spin. Look over there. Look over there behind you. Look behind you towards the post. Look towards the, yeah, and then go. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, but you got to know your spatial. Okay, you got to dribble with your left hand. Dribbling with your right hand is for beginners. You're not a beginner. Ball away from you. Step through. Yep, there you go. Left hand dribble. Good. Excellent. Spin through. Oh, wrong way. Spin towards the middle. That was good, though. Spin towards the There you go. Good. There you go. Great job. Okay, now we're going to work on the spin move. Okay, so now she's defending me right here. Okay, and when I step through, now her whole body's here. She's not letting me do the Steve Smith. So now I got to spin on you gotta spin quickly, okay? Yeah. You gotta spin quickly, otherwise it'll be a travel. You're supposed to go. Ooh. Okay. So I step through. She takes her whole body's over here now, and then I spin. And the way you spin is you bring the ball 180 degrees. So when I'm here, I'm gonna hook the ball, hook the ball, and go. I'm going to seal her on my back so she can't get the ball, and I'm going to go right around her with a, a, legal, a legal hook and seal. Okay, go get your ball. Okay, so I'm going to step through. Through with the right foot. You have to step through. Yep, and then spin. Hook it back towards me. You gotta hook. Nope, you gotta hook. Yeah, yeah, that's right. But you have to hook it with your left hand. Hook it with your left hand like this. Hook it. Hook it. Yeah, hook it and then dribble. Hook it towards me. You have to spin towards me and then throw a bounce pass to your other hand. Nope, that's a Steve Smith. Watch. Watch. Hook it and bounce it. Hook it and bounce it. Okay, very easy. Step through, hook it, and then bounce it. Yep, very nice, beautiful. Love it. Get in there. That's all right. There we go. Hook and bounce. Good. Hook and bounce. Good. Oh, way to hold your follow through. There we go. shoulders. The other way. Now I go with my left foot. Yep. So. Yep. And then hook and, ba and bounce. Other hand. Oh, yeah. Good. Very nice.
target. Okay, remember, when you shoot, your feet should be slightly left of target if you're right-handed, or it may look opposite for you, and slightly right if you're left-handed, okay? Very important, because then when my elbow comes up, it's straight. If you stand square to the basket, that's the wrong way to stand. Now when I bring my arm up, see how my elbow's sideways? I gotta turn slightly so that my elbow faces the basket. And if you watch the best shooters in the world, they all do that. The other thing is make sure that you dip the ball to your hip, your dominant hip, before you shoot. Catch, dip to the hip, relax the shoulders when you shoot, and that's how your body should be in the air, like you're reclining on a chair. Okay, your shoulders should be back and your feet should be slightly forward like this, okay? And then you've got to find the grooves when you shoot. Middle index finger, middle finger touches the ball last, but the second finger is the one that touches the valve, okay? But find the grooves before you shoot. Your percentages will go way up, all right? Okay, now we're going to do shooting drill. Okay, we're going to go beat the pros. This is where I made 45 in a row the other day, okay? Now today we're going to start with shooting off the dribble. And then we're going to go shooting uh, without a dribble. Okay, so we're going to go elbow. We're going to reverse the order today. We're going to go baseline to baseline first. Okay, and we're going to do a Steve Smith on the baseline for that little 10 foot jump shot. Okay, and then on the wings, we're going to go straight through today. Okay, for those of you that are uh, doing the workout. Okay, and then on the wing, we're going to do a um, the in and out behind that we did earlier. Okay. We're going to go in and out behind, turn Steve Smith, and go in for the shot. Dad, you know my balls. Okay, what's that? My ball goes on the hammer. Yeah, I think it's in the street. Okay, oh, yeah. and then uh, for the elbow to elbow, um, so we're going to do Steve Smith baseline to baseline. We're going to do in and out behind uh, Steve Smith on the wing the wing to elbow jump shot, and then the elbow to elbow jump shot. We're just gonna go straight ahead for a full speed uh, jump shot. Stop, drop the ball behind, and shoot that jump shot. All right, here we go. behind Steve Smith.
sure your shot, you finish with your elbow by your ear. looking somewhere else before you shoot. Get up higher, honey. Good idea. Let's go. Okay, great job. Going to the other side now. Well, I can't drill on the ground very well, so it's a little bit easier. The last one. Good job. That's the whole idea. All right. Okay. You're reaching the summit? Oh. Oh, you made me miss. Yeah, that's, that's okay. Bounce back. Okay, you bounce back. We'll get the ball. Okay, here we go. You got it. Shots. One more shot. Here we go. Okay, this time I'm going to do the KJ. Oh, I lost Facebook. Okay. 
Okay, this time, this time I'm going to do the KJ into the elbow to elbow. Yeah, I see those. Those are great signs. You gotta make sure they all stay about six inches apart, though, right? Yeah. Sixteen. Yeah, that's a good one. two houses, one here and one by Lewis Middle School. What, what, what uh, elementary school do you go to? Um, oh, Hurst. Oh, cool. Very nice. Really? Good job, buddy. Very nice. You're doing a good job. Two more shots. Talk to the neighbors here. I like your bike. They're cool. Yeah, you're doing a good job, buddy. Uh, it's live. For the people that are watching and training also, like we are, but from their house. Isn't that cool? Cool. Yeah, I do workouts, yoga, I do a bunch of different things. normal spots. Okay, 10 shots total, no dribbling. Elbow to wing.
side. Finish with two free throws. Two free throws in a row. rhythm and boom. Or M. Hootner, and we'll see you on Tuesday. Great job today.